Welcome back to Coffee with Coach presented by Tim Hortons. I'm Andrew Mossbrooks. We are, as always, joined by head coach Seth Appert and uh, Apps. Three games, three wins. I thought there were different personalities to all of them. How would you characterize last week? Well, it's great. You won three games uh, at this time of year. Early in the year, you, you definitely are also worried about how you're playing and, and are you building towards something later. At this time of the year, with the standing so tight, you, you just need wins. Um, we were excellent in the game on Wednesday against Cleveland. I mean, just a really, really strong performance um, against a very good team. I thought we were pretty good in the Providence game against a great team. Uh, but tough atmosphere on the road, great energy in the building, um, and then found a way to tie it late and then get the extra point in overtime. And then, and then the Bridgeport game was, was sloppy, um, really good early, sloppy middle and late at times. You know, and, and uh, that's not that's not what you want, but sometimes it is what it is. Um, you know, we got some pretty good players out of our lineup right now, and the guys dug in and found a way. And what I liked is there were some big moments of each game that we answered the bell. Uh, answered the bell with a couple penalty kills late in the game and in overtime. Um, answered the bell in terms of delivering in big moments in, in overtime and shootouts. So uh, those are good things to build on. Uh, Anton Wahlberg found the score sheet in all three games. And you talk about important moments. How about that big game-tying goal in the third period on Saturday? Apps, this kid is 18 years old. He's got points in three of four games of the Amherst. What have you thought of him? He's been excellent. Uh, Wahlberg has really been good. I think the, one of the biggest compliments you can give him, I know the points are great, um, is that as a coach, I'm not afraid to put him on the ice in big moments. And that is rare as an 18 year old. Um, and then even more rare in your first couple weeks over here in North America. So that's a credit to him. That's a credit to the coaching he's received up until this point. Um, you know, it, I started with Cooley and Rosie because Brett Murray's out on Saturday in Providence, and that just didn't wasn't working. Probably, probably too much youth uh, on the same line, and and so I put him right back. I switched pretty quickly into the second period, got him back with Mersh and Yopst, uh, and that that play that those three made to tie that game. I don't think it'll be a, that might be one of the best goals we've scored all year. It's a, it's. The way Mercy handled that puck on the wall uh, is an underappreciated play, but it is an elite, elite play. And then Yop's pass was amazing. And then Mersh, of course, finishing that game with the OT winner. I want to quickly talk about the shootout, though, on Sunday because, uh, man, it's known as a skills competition to some. Brandon Byro and Yuri Kulik certainly made it look like that. What do you think of their hands? Well, they were great. Those two moves were excellent. Uh, and I knew I was picking Byro. Byro was one of our best anyway, but Byro had a poor game. Um, and that's not like him. And I knew he was furious at himself, and I knew he'd deliver in the shootout. There's I had zero doubt that he was going to deliver for his teammates. Um, and then and then Cooley had a, had an excellent game and, and had an excellent move in the shootout as well. And the Amherst winning all three of those games, now leading into a four-game homestand with a chance to clinch the playoffs as early as Friday against Belleville. So hopefully we'll be talking about that next time on Coffee with Coach.